All right, so last time you all managed after just a chaotic incursion into the mine, uh, you managed to open the chamber door which leads into the uh, from the cave into the actual physically built mine area. However, inside were a company of Durgar who were waiting and uh, had fortified their position. You all then cast Tiny Hut, but before you cast Tiny Hut, a uh, cranium rat managed to sneak past you and cast Dominate Person on poor, unsuspecting to you, who, before you all managed to erect your Tiny Hut, took off per the command of the uh, Mind Flare connected rat. As the bubble of the tiny hut dispels, you all have seen immense carnage happening around you as the Durgar have been fighting off incursions from the human forces that are outside of the mine, pushing their way in. They've been met with resistance from the fortified and, frankly, well-established Durgar positions. The Durgar have managed to push them back after an initial destructive uh, push from the humans that has destroyed their ballista all the way back to the bridge where they had set off an initial explosion. The humans have set up a small fortification at the entrance of the mine where they're setting up small uh, teams, squads, to push their way in, trying to find a way around the Durgar, who have also set up their camp just right next to you, honestly. However, all their attention is being pushed forward. There still seem to be some noises from the interior of the mine, but there is a, a pretty large camp of Durgar here at this location. Uh, their attention, there seems to be a no man's land here. Uh, let's see if I can, does that work? Okay. No? Okay. Uh, and right now, it seems to be a stalemate, as both forces have created this zone that they can't pass through without the other one being alerted and immediately attacking. Can we have uh, had a, like a quick discussion of what we were going to do once we knew like the bubble was going to go down? Yeah, you've had eight hours. During yeah. the eight hours, you've been seeing the forces of each side fighting, dying alongside of your uh, bubble. Okay. Well, I think the best course of like trying to find to you would be keep going like down this way. I'd let these guys fight and keep going down this way to go deeper and figure out what's going on in the Mind Flare shit. I don't disagree with that. But sneak, but like sneak past. <clears throat> like sneak that way so we are avoiding like the big group of Durgar right there. I don't, yeah, I'm down with that. I, I don't. I don't disagree with that. I have no love for the Dugar or the um, those human bastards. However, I am tempted to suggest perhaps we quietly sabotage the Dargar defense in some way before moving down, um, if only to encourage the humans to charge in and possibly either get themselves killed or kill the Dugar. Either way, we win. What would you suggest to sabotage them? They're, I mean, they're already fighting each other, but how uh, would... DM, I would like to take a uh, quick peek at the line and see if there's any mechanisms or device they're using to fortify their position. Uh, there is a single Durgar who seems to be kind of the, the leader of this group. Um, they all have... Yeah. Uh, they all have crossbows, I believe. Uh, let me verify that. Uh, Durgar, 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 Durgar. Mm -mm -mm. You think I'd be more prepared? Right, so they all have javelins and uh, crossbows, um, but there is one Durgar who seems to be uh, commanding them. Um, he... It, He's a little bit uh, scrawnier than the others, but um, 
you can tell he's got he's uh he's got some uh weight with his words um and he he seems to be directing them i'll, I'll turn back to uh um Thorfinn and be like all right i don't really see much that there is anything we can do but just in case things go south for Dorgar, or in case the humans break through trying to find us, why don't I cast... Uh, one moment, let me... Uh, I would suggest keeping your spells. I was going to cast a snare, since it would block off this entrance entirely. Actually, that's... Well, can you do that from a distance? How long does that take? Uh, it takes, um... One moment... Let me uh, look up the spell. It takes uh, a minute of casting. It will consume a uh, five-foot radius, so uh, 10 by 10 square, basically, as a circle. And it will last the next eight hours. I say put it right here. All after right. We, after, we sneak, after we sneak through. Yeah. I did not mean to draw that there. All right. Um, I... Good idea. I'll go ahead and do as Red suggests, and I will cast a snare at that specific passageway. Okay. As we sneak, we sneak forward as a group. Uh, let's talk about what Nuval is going to do. Uh, because I, okay. Nuval, unfortunately, is not able to make it tonight, and I don't have a clever DM device to pull him away at the moment unless mm, i do what is that tell me it's called it's called hand waving he's with us the whole time he's not going to participate because he's not here but he is here and when he gets here next week he'll be here and i'll have been here the whole time okay let me try this uh a little kobold runs up to you <laughs> thorf okay and he points to Newall. And ask for Nuval to come with him. <laughs> and Nuval is just curious enough to go with him. That's right. He's going to write a little uh, article about his adventures with the uh, little kobold, and he'll be back next week. Yep, that's hand waving. That's a good hand wave. Thank you, thank you, Thorf, Justin, for the suggestion. That's not. That's not. That, that was not my idea at all. That was oh. Your idea. oh well. <laughs> Cool. Well, either way, either way, that'll be the he, uh, the hand waving is hand waving is like fuck it, don't worry about it. Okay, great. It's pretty yeah. cl it's pretty close because I'm maybe there's a little story there, but we'll figure it out later. Yeah, For now, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Yeah, Brian Brian can have his own little uh, text adventure with uh, <laughs> with Rob later then. Yeah. So, is it the same cobalt that I saved earlier? Hmm. Sure. Yeah. Fuck it. Awesome. Continuity. All right. Yeah. Okay. So the rest of us. And he's bringing his buddies. And they're going to come back and they're going to. We have an army of cobalts come in and Deus Ex Machina, whatever shenanigans we get into this <laughs> during this session. Great. Uh, okay. Um, I hope. I so pray. So you all are. You cast Snare right here. Yeah. Uh, is yeah. it, tell, tell me the description of Snare. Is it a somatic? Is it a vocal casting? Or... It is. Somatic material that steals 25 feet of my rope. I cast it before, but since the starting equipment includes 50 feet of rope, I'm good. Okay, are you all sneaking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, can roll, you give roll stealth? Can you give me? Can you give me or uh, me or Alex uh, access to Thor? If that's okay, Justin, so we can move you with us. No, totally. I'm in a diminished capacity. Sure. Yeah. Mm, yeah, let me do uh, uh, Trey and Sam. Stealth. Okay. Please Let's see see if this works with you now. Yep, I'm able to move him. Okay, great. Uh he'll just he'll just be following you. Um So go ahead and roll stealth everybody if you can. Got a nine. Nine? 
Okay. Uh, 15. Okay, 9, 15, and 24. Um, as you move forward, stepping over the bodies of the slain, the, the ground here is just wet with blood. Soaked into the mine, the dust in the mine. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of made its own mud. You look down the hall, and when it revealed to you, uh, roll, what's everyone's passive perception? Uh, 15. 10. All right. Uh, with 15, you hear voices. 14. With 14 and 15, you hear voices of, uh, the Durgar speaking quietly. Uh, they seem to be gathered north of you. Uh, they do not notice you yet. Um, they're all gathered around a table, uh, looking at plans. They've got, there's a, um, there's some items around the table, but they're, they're not directly looking at you. All right. Do we fight or keep moving? Fight or I, keep moving fast? We keep moving. I just, I just don't see us able to take, pick, we can't pick every single fight along the way. I think. So, I'll, I'll just sneak past. Okay, I'm going to reveal some more area. Actually, before I sneak past, can I give uh, Thorf the help action so so that way he may not roll completely horribly on his stealth check? How are you... Describe to me how you would help him. I'm... I explained to him in a low voice, it's like, all right, you want to hold your armor down on these positions to reduce noise. It's not perfect. I can't do much for heavy armor, but hopefully that makes things a little easier. Okay. With the help... With that, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm just wondering, I, I kind of want to just add a, a, a D6 to it, but I think help action is... Help action is specifically always just giving advantage, correct? You're yeah, the DM. Just I, I'm trying it, to. Yeah, let me let me look up here. Uh, yeah, just Gen generally, uh, generally, advantage will give you like about plus five. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do that. Okay. Go ahead and roll with advantage your stealth roll. So re-roll that. Oh, you didn't 16. hear any of that. 16. 16 is much better. Okay. You all are walking through um, and remain unnoticed. Uh, I'm going to roll real quick, see if any of them notice you. Uh, one of them begins walking over this direction south here. Seems to be picking up something from uh, some of these boxes over here. Hmm. I just turn the corner, try and keep moving, just to get out of his line sight, line of sight. Okay. Uh, you also notice that one of them is uh, putting on a bright red cape, and oh, okay, and that's all. Okay. Hmm. Um, is this? Is the ballista? We saw that fire at us. Does that hey, look like it? All the words right now, Brad. Go ahead and make it a investigation. And I bet, I bet that cape is magic. 17. Uh, 15. All right. With that, you see that the the string of this ballista has been severed, and it looks like one of the gears is missing. Uh, hmm. Apparently, in one of the first attacks, one of the first initial pushes, the humans caught them off guard enough to just kind of full force run at the thing and manage to actually deal some damage to it. It would take a little bit of um, scrounging around, scavenging, to find the pieces to be able to fix this ballista, All right, and, and a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease. I don't have mending, you, so I you, suggest you move. With time, you'll probably be able to uh, tinker with it, but let's let's keep moving right yeah, now. Yeah, we just don't have the time. You know? All right, roll perception. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, very good. Three. Very good. Okay. Uh, you hear... 60 feet down this hallway, you hear Durgar uh, that are being... that are speaking amongst each other. But also, you see physically something floating in the mid in in midair uh he is it is a uh it seems to be attached to a column uh but it's you can't make out even with the 23 from this distance exactly what it is which um, hallway is it? is it this one or this yeah, one i'm trying to reveal it for you man this map is huge it's a it's a true dungeon. I hope to make more dungeons like this, but I'll need we'll probably switch back to the other campaign um, so I can. And then up here, you notice uh, you just see some uh, copper pools. Um, the water is patinaed, but the edge of it has coppered. They seem to be thermal uh, baths. The heat is coming from uh, there's some heat bubbling from these thermal pools hmm only shatter didn't make so much noise okay um uh, check okay, okay yeah, so uh, uh room of, Dur some... room of Durgar and hull and minecart bridge up here right okay That's our two uh red Red or, or Thor, for roll perception. Uh, Sam revealed the area. I'm going to say that if you guys roll high enough on perception, you can see exactly what these Durgar are. 24, natural 20. Perfect, Ooh. okay. Uh, you see what looks to be uh, attached to, one of, to this column is a many tentacle creature uh, with a single kind of milky eyeball in the center, mm -hmm. center of it. Each one of its tentacles has an, uh, an eye attached to it as well. Uh, it seems to be floating slash attached to this column, like wrapping itself around it, almost like a growth. Uh, and it is apparently somehow communicating with the Duergar. Oh, that is. Let's not go that way. I mean, probably better to go north, but you it also does seem like some mind flare shit. Sorry, you also see somewhere in a corner there is a uh, a metal person, a metal object that seems to be. Um, it, it it seems to be attached to the to this wall, not attached to the wall, but like uh like it was a part of the structure, um, a part of the mine before anyone excavated it. In this room, it's 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 just a little bit past it. Interesting. On the other side of these creature uh, enemies. Yeah, All right. I, I suggest we go north and I'm see sure if there is, is, if we can get a more advantageous position that way. I'd rather not, not sure. run in for direct combat unless we have I'm to. Not, I'm not sure what advantageous yeah. means, but sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I don't... Okay, five, ten, yeah, like, let's move up this way. Yeah, I, I think think whatever that thing is, we should try to take care of it, but I'm not sure how right now. It's, All right, it's as much Mind Flare, it looks like some Mind Flare stuff that can lead us towards to you, you maybe. So, let's... And we'll probably have to deal with that anyway, looking as we make our way across. Uh, like... Sam, make a perception check. Okay. 17. Okay, with that, you notice that there is a uh, tripwire that is right across where you're standing. You, you were just about to walk over it. Oh, thank um, goodness. Yeah, I, I really shouldn't have told you to make a perception check. You should have just walked over it. But um, you're, let's just say that your passive was high enough. Uh, you're the two you's gone. You're the only rogue left. You have to be checking for traps. I'm not a rogue. I'll I'll lean over the trap and see what I can do to disable it, uh, depending on what check that is. 
Uh, actually, break out my thief tools. Not a rogue breaks out. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a. I'm not a rogue. He uses my thief tools to disarm a chat trap that I just checked for. Right. What if we just step over? Yeah, we could. Uh, and if he you all. all s- Actually. What does the trap lead to exactly? Like, is it lead to explosive powder or like what, roll, what's the roll set? investigation? Uh, one moment. A nineteen. Okay, with a nineteen, you notice that the tracks that you were standing on, uh, have some kind of electrical outlet, uh, electrical charge device that ha- uh, had you it seems like if you pull a wire anything standing on that uh, on that particular track would have been shocked all right yeah let's, not sure gonna... yeah let's not disarm this trap rather i point out the trap explain what it does and then i'm going to suggest uh hold on <clears throat> I think if we do get into a combat, we should try to lure one of them past this trap. It might be to our advantage. Just be careful not to step on the metal railing. Works for me. All right. Uh, okay. I will oh, we need to figure out where we're going. There's the thing there. I gotta, I gotta oh. make sure that I'm keeping up with you guys as you move. You have 60 feet of view so up ahead you all notice that there is a large uh uh abyss a large um what what would that be uh crevice crevasse uh ahead of you and the there seems to be a a a small bridge across it but uh for the most part it is uh not easily traversable. I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to deal with these, with these dirt guard mind flare thing. So, you you said it electrifies the metal tract. How far does that go? Because this metal tract goes towards the ballista. Are the ballistas not connected? It just goes back to the ballista. It would it would terminate at the ballista. Ooh. I would like to double back, try to like keep myself up. I would like to connect the metal uh, part here and here. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. If there's like spare metal or like scraps, uh, scrap around, I would like to make a crude connection. Ah, uh, there's not any spare metal in this area. Uh, let's see. What do I have in my inventory? If you uh, make if you make this work, that would be the coolest thing that you've ever done, Sam. It would be that if this trap goes off and you electrify a bunch of these with this fucking Home Alone shit, I, this would be amazing. All right. Is there any obvious ammo for the ballista laying near the ballista? Uh, there's some wooden javelins. Oh, they don't have metal tips. Nah, that's boring. Fucked. Well, I will take my quiver of arrows and mutilate my own arrows. I don't think I have enough arrowheads to. I don't think I have enough arrowheads to like make a full connection, though. Do I? Hmm. No. You know I, have... um, I don't think that would. Yeah. No. That would... carry. Oh, right, you were saying? Is there enough metal in my smith's tools to help him out with what he's trying to do? I have smith's tools too. too. Uh, yeah, if we could buy our toolkits, can we do that? Just you create would, a bunch of metal wiring? You would need some What if kind I just of... lay down on the track and conduct the whole thing myself and then kind of two birds, one stone, you can do what you want to do and I can be electrocuted? That doesn't sound like a buff and approved use of electricity. Now you're the Buffett expert. That's maybe uh, uh, that kind of does sound like something you, Buffett you would be to on board with. Find some kind of malleable 
metal, uh, which Can't. would not be part of your toolkit. Okay. To connect uh, to. Um, there, uh, that's they, not to say that you're not in a copper mine, but. Yeah, that's that's fair. Let's try to. Yeah, let's just go down to the pools. Can we carefully climb down into the pool without actually getting into the pool? Because that sounds super dangerous. And like skim the surface of the water for metal. Like copper. Panhead. So typically copper is mined with a with a pick. Yeah. It, Out would, of the it wall. wouldn't be something that you're yeah. like you don't skim the top of yeah. water. Um, All right. Yeah, like Sky, like Skyrim. Oh, I'll activate my or Minecraft. Uh, yeah. How much time do we, we don't have enough time to trigger that ability? And that'll, I don't... And that'll alert. That'll alert them. Wait, I... I'm an idiot. I know how to solve this. I take Roger. off my leg. Take off your what? My leg. I'll just use my leg. Okay, so you're gonna go one-legged. Well, actually, the power armor can compensate for a missing leg. Rules is written with that uh, ability. So Rules I don't... is written with drink. Yeah, I, I purely have the prosthetic leg. Now we're going to stop for beer. Thanks. <laughs> hey, I'm going to look up power armor real quick. <laughs> and Because I, if you it don't have happened. a leg... It finally happened. Yeah. He said power armor. He said power armor in no times. Then Rob went, okay, I gotta look this shit like, up. If, this like, armor. okay, times. I'm willing to let a lot of shit fly, but I'm at the same time, there there does come a point where I'm like, okay, you're not, you don't have a leg in there, and it where is it written? Okay, I'm reading it now. Arcane armor. Uh, powered armor. Heavy armor, plate armor. Powered armor resembles a suit of unusual armor, yada, 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 yada. I just don't know that it can take the place of your leg without you suffering a... Uh, the third bullet point. You have advantage on death saving throws. No, 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 no. Here, let me... <laughs> it's uh, first ability, um, ar no, second ability, arcane armor, third bullet point. Which, you read it. What does that say? What do you the armor attaches to you and can't be removed against the will. It also expands to cover your entire body. Although you can retract or deploy the helmet as a bonus action, the armor replaces any missing limbs functioning identically to a body part that it is replacing. Well, me, me using the replication infusion was purely an RP decision. I never technically needed it. All right. Okay. Uh, you remove a, uh, metallic, uh, prosthetic leg and lay it across the tracks, yeah, connecting the two tracks from the ballista to the, the original, uh, location of the trap that you, uh, found. All right. Yeah. Gonna get back here and make sure. Um, Thanks, gonna... Tasha's Cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> and the MacGyver theme starts playing. Yeah. Um, let's let's make sure Thorf is on the tracks, and then trigger yeah, the track. If we if we're all like positioned right where we are, Ed, do you think do we think that that will like hurt us if we're if we activate this thing? If you're standing on the tracks. Have... No, no, we're not standing on the tracks. We're right. We're. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay. Um. You're standing on the tracks. Okay. You all have not disturbed the water, have you? Nope. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure Red stopped me from doing that because I was about yeah. to be silly. Okay. Yeah. Um, and and I'll just say it like, okay, this like, if we activate this trap, some of them are going to get electrocuted, and then we run in and finish the off the rest of this because this needs to be solved. We're not making it to. I think this is where we need to be going. Yeah, and we're not gonna like, get yeah, we're not gonna get there with this with these like guys in the way. On on the count of three. Three. Sure. Two, one. Well and, you said uh, on the count of three and Oh god. 
Okay, you pull at the count of three. You all pull the le- the uh, trip wire, which activates a small mechanical grenade that is attached to a, a little battery, uh, arcane battery, which ejects el- just electricity. Lightning just strikes, running down. You see that the track glows blue for a moment as it deals uh, 4d8 damage to anything standing on the track. But it actually, you see that it runs going this direction, jumping across your leg, melting it, and running this way. So that is 18 damage to everything that is touching the tracks. Now, the tracks were not connected here, so okay. it didn't oh, wow. jump across, but um, still, instantly, still badass. Yeah, instantly, and they are going to be stunned for the first round. All right, let's get in. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative, you guys, if you are engaging in combat immediately. Yep. That's the plan, and I rolled in that one. That's four. Fantastic. <laughs> 14. <laughs> I think I'm not used to having 14. my armor compensate for a lack of a leg. 14. It feels weird having an exoskeleton with no Oops. like biology there. You, you, yeah, you made me the trap instead of the... Uh... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, Thorf, you're up. Uh, what was your initiation initiative role? I can't. I can't. I can't hear it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, do you mind if we? Um, do, uh, do you mind if we roll for you? Could you reply in the chat? You're very. You're very staticky. I yeah, can't it's not, anything. It is not coming through at all. And one second. Also, let me save the uh, map and send that over to him. Put that in Discord. I got a 14. That's what uh, he just posted that in the chat. Okay. There we go. Um, Two. Got a 14 also. Okay, and then I am going to roll for our uh, friends here. The Durgar. Uh And the first round, two of them are going to be completely stunned. Um, so they are not going to be in action. Uh, initiative. By the way, Red, I think you're right. This is one of the cooler things I've done. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, also, do we have that uh, plus 10 temp HP thing? You should, yes. Okay. That's That's recharged. Got it. Okay. I think at the beginning of each day, right? Yeah, I think it's after every long rest. Yeah. Awesome. Love to hear it. Love that Buffett. Everything's rolling 14, bizarrely. Uh... Glitch in the D&D Beyond? Nah, I rolled a... Oh, yeah, I did roll in D&D Beyond. Shit. Okay, well, some of these rolled on roll twenty, so you know, okay. It's just uh, the so guys want. the Duergar immediately go into battle formation. They know that the trap wouldn't have gone off unless someone pulled that trip wire, so they know exactly where it's coming from. But they didn't expect it to be rerouted onto the own uh, track and affecting them. One of them springs into action. He is the uh, he is going to turn invisible. Uh, he he ducks out, and he's going to move and get ready. He's going to ready in action. You hear steps uh, running, and uh, but uh, he, unless you. Uh, have something that could detect invisible things, you, you can't exactly tell where this is coming from. But, Davey, you are up. 
Uh, perfect time. Uh, 10, 15, 20. Okay. I'm going to use my breath. I'm running in using my breath weapon attack. How, how many can I catch from this area? 15 foot cone. Uh, depends on which you could do this. Um, you could probably get, let's see here. Uh, 15 foot cone, right? Uh, yeah. How, what's, so you could probably do this. Right? Yeah. I, I want to get two of the guys and this thing. Okay, if you do it at this direction, right, you could do that. All right, that works for that works for me. Uh, okay. Thanks. Okay, if it's a cone, uh, all of them need to make a con save DC fourteen. Okay. <clears throat> the Duergar. Uh, do not have resistance to that. So, they're going to just roll. Good. I go through so many fights and don't use this. I might as well. The first one rolls a 5. The second one, further away, rolls an 11. And the oh, creature, the uh, aberration... Do, 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 rolls a, a nat 20. Uh, yeah. So it's going to save. Uh, it'll be half damage, but hold on one second. Uh, no, I can look this up later. Okay. Uh, uh, 12 damage to the other ones and uh, to the ones who failed. Uh, six damage to six cold damage to the one that succeeded. Okay, this one in front of you freezes over solid. And he falls over and just shatters on the ground. The others do take 12 damage. And they seem to be okay. Oh, yeah. uh, and then the aberration takes 6 damage. <laughs> Sweet. And I just take out my spear, my short spears to get ready to fight more. But that's it. Uh, Thwarf, you are up. Thor friends away. Uh, <laughs> He'll jump back on. Mm. Is his last name Salt Shaker? Yeah. Is Thor's last name Salt Shaker. That's amazing. Is it not? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. I just saw it on the initiative. Yeah. Track. That's a, that's amazing. That's that's great, Justin. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It goes All right. deep. All right, uh, Thor. Are are you? Do you have an image of the? current battlefield i just posted it in the uh in the discord okay yes i do uh, uh, i'm gonna try to move this guy oh i can't move him right, here we go. oh i have uh i i can move him oh there we go there we go there we go all right, thirty feet, and uh, I want to take a look at this monster. Uh, I mean, I know what he is, but I want you to tell me what he is. Okay. Uh, roll history. Fifteen. All right. Um, you've heard of this happening. You've never seen one in per in person, but you've read that mind flares, if they come across a young uh, uh, beholder, they have been known to overtake the beholder and use it as a kind of telepathic hub. So you also know that if it sees you and is speaking with the Durgar, then could be a situation that now all the Durgar know that you're there. Oh, crap. A mind witness. A mind witness. This guy's... This guy's, uh, this guy's sending on. 
He's and got not, sending messages all over the, all over this cave. Right, and not just to uh, the Durgar. Oh no. Yep. Okay. Um, yep. Is that the end of your turn? We'll say that was your bonus action. Hell no. I'm going to cast uh, Spiritual Weapon right next to the Mind Witness and slap him with a cuddly uh, shark. Okay, go ahead and roll for that. A, uh, a land shark playfully bounds out of midair on four legs. Uh, gives a uh, surf's up sign with his fingers and then leaps to bite the Mind Witness. 20 to hit. 20 will hit. Oh, fuck. I forgot how much damage. <laughs> Thirty feet. How fast are they? Eleven force damage. And then have that same mind witness make a saving a dexterity saving throw uh, okay. to dodge my secret flame. Oh my god. It's a natural 20 once again. Okay. Jesus. All right. <laughs> uh, how much damage you said? Uh, 11 from the spiritual left. Okay, 11 damage. It saves. Uh, what'd you roll? That's it. That's not Okay, that was your turn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is now this Dorgar's turn right here. He is going to go ahead and uh, he runs over to you, Thorf. And he's going to use War right. Pick. Uh, actually, actually, I'm sorry. First... Uh, he before he runs over, he is going to use uh, enlarge on himself. He magically increases in size, uh, becoming a large creature. Um, uh, however, that is that be, that takes up his turn. So uh, he simply enlarges. Next, it is the mind witness's turn. The mind witness turns. It's. Uh, many stalks of eyes look at all the two of you. I am going to roll at random. It is going to choose two targets it can see within 120 feet of it. And it casts upon the... Uh, the first one is going to be a slowing ray. On, uh, on red. Gotcha. So red, go ahead and make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Oh, eight. That fails. You, your speed is halved for one minute. In addition, the creature cannot take actions, reactions. Sorry, <clears throat> the creature can't take reactions. And it can take either an action or a bonus action on its turn, but not both. You can Got repeat it. the saving throw at the end of each of your turn. So you are slowed. You feel the weight suddenly of this creature's eyes stock looking at you. The other one looks to you, Thorf, and it beams at you with a fear ray. You're going to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Dwarf. He 
He's typing. Okay. 24. 24, that saves. Uh, the fear ray does not affect thee. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And that is going to be its turn. It, its eye stalks look about, um, and it is going to move. It goes <laughs> hovering over here. Next up, it is this Dorgar's turn. He is going to... Uh, he comes over here and he launches a javelin at you. Red. And that is a 17 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Damage. 1d8 plus 2. Seven. Take nine damage. Got Close it. quarter combat. Uh, Sam, you're up. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ah. All right. So my original plan wasn't going to work. Going to move in alongside four. Uh, hold on, Carmen, you're not chewing on things again, are you? Pardon the interruption. All right. I'm going to magic missile the uh, enlarged uh, um, Dorogar. Uh -huh. Can't pronounce. Let me spend his level one spell slot and go ahead and roll the dice. Three. Nine force damage and three concentration saves on, on that enlarged spell. Mm. Since it's three separate attacks. Is that how that works? I don't think that uh, enlarge is a concentration for the Durger. Oh, it isn't? That's no. a bad racial ability then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, What's that? I'll still commit to that action because Sam wouldn't know that. Okay, so, but you dealt nine damage? Yep, nine okay. force damage. Yeah, uh, you hit this thing for nine force damage. Um, That's my turn. And that one is dead. Uh, you hear down the hall, it sounds like uh, there is... Further in the cave, back where you were, you hear the sound of uh, Durgar suddenly, uh, suddenly taking off running. Um, they're going to be yeah. sprinting towards you, uh, dashing, taking their action to dash, as they all begin to run, uh, alerted by the mind witness. Okay. All right. And then it is the invisible one's turn. He is going to... He looks at the three of you and he says, that one. Uh, Sam, you're going to make a saving throw. Which one? Mm -hmm. The invisible one is doing that. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, there he is. Okay, no, I actually, it's going to be red. Red, make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15. That saves. Thank goodness. Great. Um, what, uh, it's suddenly what, what, revealed. What? Shoo, it goes, ah! uh, it's, it tries to, it goes, ah! reaching its hand is pointed out towards you and it's trying to pull your mind, trying to, trying to break you, but your intelligence is a little too strong for it. And it goes, ah! it runs towards you with a knife and it is going to attack you with a melee. Mm. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, he's too smart. I think it's just, 
the drugs that he's <laughs> his mind is so scattered. He's over like a drug user for so many years. His mind is it's like when someone try when a psychic tries to mind control Deadpool. It's just like, oh god, no, I don't want to be in there. Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> no. They thank go you, too though. deep. Yeah. Um. So it attacks. And it is going to attack. It's an eight. It swings wildly at you. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but it is just not... Con- it, it is not used to having to fight hand-to-hand combat. And... Um, bu- 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 it misses. It misses every attack. You deftly uh, step aside. It is now your Beautiful. turn. Okay, the slow spell. Do I get two attacks? Uh... You get one action. I get one action, so an attack. So I can attack. Uh, okay. Uh, I won't try any of my blood hunter shit. I'll just attack first until this slow goes away. Uh, first attack with my uh, spear. Oh man, I can't even douse these in poison. Fuck. Uh, Twenty-three to hit. That hits. Uh, what are you attacking? The one next uh, the, to you? Yeah, the one in front of me. Okay. This one. The one that was just screaming bloody murder at me. Eight damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Is uh, that poison? Second, no, no, it is not. Uh, second attack is uh, a 10. That is going to miss. Okay. And no bonus action, so that's it for me. Yep. Uh. But can I make Go the ahead. save to try and uh, get rid of this? Yeah, you can make a... At the end of your turn, you can make a... It's going to be a dexterity uh, roll. A dex save? Okay. Yep. A 17 plus 3! Alright, that is going to be enough to beat it. Your, uh, you shake off your uh, lethargy. <laughs> There's like... I <laughs> Yeah. Those little vents that I pop stuff into, just, I'm used to have, like, flushing out toxins from there, and just black ooze just starts coming out of those as I expel shit that's in my body. Nasty. Uh, Thor, if you're up. (laughs) Yes. Yes, I'm a disgusting creature. Um... Dorf, in front of you, you see an enlarged. And it gores. Uh, yeah. Uh, Durgar. You see another Durgar that is standing next to your spiritual weapon, and you see a mind master standing next to uh, Red. You also hear the sound of uh, Durgar footsteps coming, uh, rushing down the hall. R- rushing down the, uh, the tracks yeah we got to move okay. towards the mind flare thing I, I actually have a plan awesome. yeah okay well listen it's, it's my turn so uh i want to well so so spiritual weapon the guy first i'll hit roll to attack him okay Fifteen. uh that misses all right no problem the armor uh, that the Durgar is wearing is just, it just d- doesn't connect. That's cool. I'm going to move, I'm going to move a little bit. I'm going to get up in this guy's face and uh, really just kind of faint or act like I'm going to hit him because I'm really not. I'm going to cast Shatter in this hallway over here. I don't think I can paint that. No, I can't. But, you know, the hallway to our right, I want to cast Shatter in there um, as hard as I can. Uh, it's a 10 foot radius. To, so your, that should, that's a, what? to your characters right, to the map right, to everybody's everybody who's on the internet now, now looking at a map. Okay. To the right of the characters on the screen. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm gonna ping it for you real quick. Just, I think this is what you're talking about. Aw, that was gonna be my. Oh plan. yeah. See, I'm glad I jumped out in front of you then. So yeah, shatter right there, twenty foot. Uh, that should affect all the rocks and stuff. I'm hoping to cause a rock fall, hoping maybe to collapse this little area, at least make a difficult train, and uh, slow these guys down. Uh, hey, right. Sam, do the same thing up here. Let's, let's, let's share the wealth. Share the responsibility. Oh, uh, 
Uh, okay, go go ahead and uh, with shatter roll damage. Um, since you didn't stop me from doing it like you did that one time, uh, I think this is doable. So I'm gonna use my channel divinity to just max it out. So it's yeah. uh, 24 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 24. Uh, Isn't Shatter doable to Constructs, or am I thinking of a different spell? Uh, 24, 24... Everybody. Just flat damage? 24, uh, okay. Thunder uh, damage, I think. You cast Shatter, and <coughs> what happens is... I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you what happens is it's not going to be like the roof collapse, falls in, um, but the track and all the wood platform that the track is kind of built on right at this little check... Uh, choke point suddenly collapses down. It was just too old and worn. I'm going to show some rocks over it just as a representation of there being a collapse at that space. Uh, <clears throat> it now will be uh, they they can try and cross it, but there's just a big hole where there were tracks. And 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 what's the uh, uh, diameter of shatter? Uh, Twenty feet. Radius. So I mean, we're talking the walls, ten foot radius, twenty oh, feet 10. diameter. Okay, so what I'm what I'm showing is is pretty pretty close. So it's it's basically this whole this whole block just is sh literally shattered, and the walking platform that was built across a, a small uh, area suddenly becomes very difficult terrain. They can try and make a uh, dexterity uh, throw to be able to leap across it. But if they don't, then they'll just be stuck there. Um, well, yeah. hell yeah. You, you shattered the shit out of that area. Good job. Good job. Um, unfortunately, it is now the Durgar, the enlarged Durgar, who is standing next to you. <clears throat> it is his turn. I hope he gets. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna try and, and whack you. Um, da -da 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 da da. Does a 18 hit? Negative. Oh my god. So he swings this huge war pick. And he hits the ground. Um, but you you just like bash it with a uh, armored arm and it knocks it aside. Um, slamming into the ground. <laughs> oh, but uh, the ground beside you has this crater where the war pick hit the the stone, um, indicating that there would have been a lot more damage than normal had it hit. Uh, the mind witness floats over to here, and it looks at the three of you. Blah, 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 with his eyes shooting bizarre, funky, uh, funky fresh rays. The first one goes to you, Thwarf. And that is going to be an aversion ray. You're going to have to make a charisma saving throw. The second one is going to be to red. Do it. And that is a... Stunning ray. So the first one to Justin is the aversion ray. The one to uh, Trey is a stunning ray. You're going to have to make a constitution saving throw. That's a, that's a 24. Okay, you saved. You are unaverted. Yeah. I fail. I rule a four. Red, you are going to be stunned as the stun ray uh, sweeps across you. And uh, you are going to be stunned for one minute. Is this something I can save it from at the end of my yep. turns? Okay. All right. Um, but shit. That the sucks. third ray sweeps across to you, uh, Sam, Sam, with a. You're going to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that one's the easiest one. Twenty-four. All right. Uh, the slow raid does not affect you. <laughs> uh, Hate that. 
Keep that sound. You got to stop that. <laughs> uh, I love it, dude. Your monster sounds are wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. I feel the love. Uh, it is now the Duergarth's turn here. Uh, he is going to step over here and he's going to swing. You know what? He's going to. Man, he, yeah, he's going to swing a. Uh, he, he wants to enlarge, but I don't think there's enough room in the area. He's going to swing a pickaxe to you, dwarf. I know the futility of it, but he doesn't. <laughs> it's a nine to hit. He, he swings at you and literally hits you dead center in the chest, but your armor just. You don't even I'm feel it. I'm just like it. shaking my head at him. Uh, Sam, it is now your turn. All right. Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> quick question about uh, the wooden construction here. Uh, at what point does this devolve from like wood on stone to just abyss of uh, pools of below? Right. So, right. do you see where the stone gets darker? Around here, you mean? Uh, let me let me kind of. I'll freehand kind of the area where it's it's there's a drop um, in in elevation uh, essentially it's it's these areas here you can see kind of where the stone is not that lighter gray it's kind of a darker gray those areas are uh, essentially elevated um, and 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 this was one of them also down here where uh, right. where the shatter affected um, can I hold my action for a spell? I don't see why not. I think I think that's kind of uh, yeah. I think that's kosher too. But I just wanted to make sure yeah. before I said that. Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I would I would like to hold chatter um, here to trigger specifically when the duga. Wait, no, I'm overthinking this. Hold on, one moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I will stand here and hold my action for when the Dorgar start crossing this bridge. So I'll cast Shatter, and they'll drop into the pools after I just destroy this bridge, or at least that's the plan. Okay. So holding uh, action. Here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the initiative. Um, and I'm gonna give as them all. Yeah, I'm gonna give them as a group. I'm gonna give them all last. Uh, so they're going to go after you. You were the last on the thing, so their last initiative. Can I flip them off to get their attention? Uh, man, I, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you got you to yell at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It isn't really the yelling type most of the time. I'm going to give them all an initiative of two. I don't know if that is normal or not, but I want them to go last in the initiative. Um, People get initiatives of zero all the time. Yeah, yeah so so they're going to go uh, up uh, after you. I'm going to move that. Thanks. On the turn order. Man, i got to make this turn order bigger. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you call out, and they specifically, they whip their heads around looking at you. Um, uh, and you you readying uh you're readying an action right correct okay um the, the, i'm actually gonna make it when uh two or more dulgar hit the bridge here i'm gonna shatter the bridge and presumably they're caught in the radius too but the damage from shatter is incidental to them falling into the pit below sure uh the first one uh comes over here so that's your turn. The, the first one of that group comes over here, and he is going to... Uh, you're going to need to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, no. I'm actually not good at those. Come on, roll high. Roll 18. high. Yes! All right. So he reaches out to your mind, and uh, he is unable to affect it again. <laughs> uh, and... You can't can't pierce all this post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. 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 
Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then he is going to continue. He's trying to dominate here. us so bad. You're just pissed off you're not dominating us. Uh, da, 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 da. This one is going to come here. He's going to throw a javelin at you. Uh, Fair enough. And that is going to be a... Um, 20 to hit. 20 hits. Okay, 1d8 plus 2. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 2d6 plus 2. Uh, that's 7 plus 2. Take 9 damage. 9 damage? All right, yep. there goes Buffett's temp HP. All right, and then the next one comes over here, and he's going to run right there. And I did say two or more, so that triggers shatter. Okay, uh, one. go ahead and cast it. Let's see what it uh, does. Let's see. I need a constitution saving throw from them and presumably the bridge if you're bothering with that. Though the bridge has disadvantage. Okay, the first Roll one damage. rolled an Roll 8. Damage. The second one rolls a 13. So the Mind Master rolled a 13. The Durgar uh, regular one just rolled a 13. So a 13 damage, half on a save, uh, successful save. My DC is, uh, one moment, it's been a bit. My DC is 13, so they're, they're probably relatively fine from the initial damage. Um, okay, but the bridge takes double that damage. What what did you roll for the bridge? What, did, what was the damage? It would still be the same damage, so 13 times 2 is like 26. 26? Okay. It just takes it takes regular damage. Okay. I'm going to say that because the bridge collapses and falls, and they, they fall with it, they're going to take 26 damage as a part of all the shatter of the bridge hitting them and the, the just kind of collateral damage that they would take. Um, all right. Because I don't want to have to figure out how they... Oh, you know what? Uh... One of them does survive even with 26 damage. Uh, he is at the bottom of this kind of pit. And um, it is there at the bottom of the pit that you see uh, a creature suddenly emerge uh, out of the pit. And it attacks him and pulls him into the water. Uh, Beautiful. Into the, into the thing. <laughs> Uh, however, you also notice that behind you, uh, some creatures also come out of the pit. Oh, uh, disturbed by the collapsed, uh, basically you disturbed the uh, copper pools that they were residing in. Man, this swimming location is a one out of five stars for me. Terrible Yelp reveal. Would would not recommend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me fuck. Let me delete them off the. I got them too many times on there. Okay. Let me, uh, these creatures emerge from the the kind of poisonous pools, dripping green ooze from their mouth. <laughs> um, they they kind of bark with a with a infernal uh, voice. Let's see here. That would be one and uh, two. Oh my gosh! And they're fast. Oh no. Okay. Um, they emerge from the pool. Uh, this one pulls in the others though, and he goes, "Oh no, not!" And it bites in his neck, and it pulls him into the pool. Um, so that one. Is, is basically out of play, and so is that Durgar, who survived the fall, but did not survive the creature at the bottom of the pit. Um, okay, oh, and then... Well, the pit. Yeah, pit. This guy is going to come here, and he's going to throw a... He's like... He's like... He's, he's grabbing his head, and he grabs a uh, javelin, and he launches it at you. And it goes... All the way across the room. 15? Does a 15 Nope. Hit? Okay. Yeah. If that was with advantage, it would have been a nat 20, but it was not. And then another... Uh, uh, another Dorgar runs across, and he's just going to do the same. He's going to launch a 
javelin. Try and hit you from a distance. Thirteen. His his uh his javelin just goes wide. It it doesn't even get close to you. Um. Behind you. These creatures begin to uh, slither out of the pits of acid and, and copper. Uh, and they are... One heads... Which, which one is this? This one heads this way. And it begins climbing up onto the... Let's see if that's 30. And that's 30, okay. It begins climbing up onto the thing to see what all this fuss is about. And the, Ooh, who's it gonna attack? Who's it gonna attack? The other one clearly its its focus is on you. Um it's gonna it's gonna slither up and come over to you, uh Sam. Oh, that's not good. And it is going to uh bite and claw. The bite is a twenty three to hit. That hits. Okay. And that's going to be 2d8 plus 2. Oh, uh, let me... Okay, first one is 4. Second one is a 2. So you're going to take 8 damage. You also need to make a constitution saving throw. Moment. As the poison dripping from... It's, it's basically a Komodo dragon. 11. And that's, that's not going to do it. Not going to do it. You're going to take a whopping 4d6 poison damage. So you take a total of 8 plus 17 damage as the bite of this creature just sinks in and the poison. Uh, Do you have anything that can divert this poison? You mean like thematically or mechanically? Wait, wait, I I might actually... Uh, no, uh, I could if it was acid, but it's poison, so no. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the poison hits you hard. It's 17 damage plus 8 from the physical bite. Yeah, I already put that in, and yikes, Sam is not looking good, already bloodied. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, now it is the Mind Master's turn down here. We're at the top of the turn order. Uh, those two creatures both rolled 16 uh, and now we're at the Durgar Mindmaster 16, who is going to attempt to slash at you. Um, uh, red. Yeah. I am currently stunned, oh. so he will have on these. Shit. Well, with advantage, that's 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. And it's going to deal yeah. 1d4 plus 3 piercing damage, plus okay. 3d6 psychic damage. Okay, awesome. Okay, so the, the initial strike is going to be 4 plus 3. That's 7 damage. The okay. psychic damage is going to be 9. So you're going to take 13 damage. Got it. Got it. And then it's going... The Durgar has the choice to make two melee attacks... But Mm -hmm. it can replace one of those attacks with the use of Mind Mastery. So it is going to attempt to use Mind Mastery on Thwarf. Thwarf, please make an intelligence saving throw. Fuck. What do you roll? That's a big fail. That's a major fail. Alright. You're going to make an attack against your spiritual weapon. What? The Dugar targets one creature it can see within 60 feet of it. The target must succeed on a DC 12 intelligence saving throw. Or the Durgar causes it to use its reaction to make one weapon attack against another creature the Durgar can see. Oh, or move 10 feet in the choice of the... Oh, no. I, I choose for you to attack. Well, it's just a spiritual weapon. It's not like a creature. Right? You can't. 
Doesn't the pistol doesn't weapon have? Like it doesn't. No, it doesn't have hit points. It doesn't. No. It, attacks. The it's reason. Just like, it's like a. It's like a ghost. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Okay. Well, very swing very at it. He doesn't know. Yeah. The very first game, Bobby. Bobby got I mean, I'm this. trying to help you out because, like, I tried to attack. Like, you, I can attack at the moment. Nothing's gonna happen. I could make you move, but yeah. no, he didn't know. I didn't know. He didn't know. So you make an attack against your spiritual weapon, and it probably passes right through it. And uh, the Jorgar goes, "Yes, <laughs> kill your spiritual pet, your little land shark. Kill it." Uh, and you're just like, whatevs. <laughs> uh, Reds, you're up next. You have the chance to save. That is uh, the stunning ray, which is a constitution saving throw. Okay. You've been doing good for me so far. Yes. Okay. You said constitution? Yeah. 18. All right. You are unstunned. And this is, it says at the beginning of each turn. So I'm going to assume that with that, you're free to go ahead and make uh, the rest of your... Yeah. Bonus action, stab myself and blood curse up so I can actually get my power, my actual powers working. Shit. Uh, I do take four damage. As I do that. But, uh, yeah. Attacks on this fucking guy. Okay. Uh, first with my spear. Uh, uh, 19 to hit. A d8. Uh, for speed, does fire, does fire damage do... Anything special or anything to these guys? N nothing okay. special. Then, no. Thanks. Uh, that's eight damage to him. And second attack uh, with my uh, dagger. Uh, uh, 19 to hit. Same thing. It's going to hit. Uh, uh, this one, like, uh, does necrotic damage do anything weird? Nothing special, but it is cool. Okay, yeah, necrotic damage comes out of my about one plus so five, like seven, nine, nine damage with my dagger. Okay, it's like fire is. My blades have, like, fire licking off the sides of them. Awesome. So you slice into this mind master, and he goes, yeah. he's just like, ah, he's, like, spitting blood out, and he's like, ah, yeah. um, I am, I, I am also spitting blood out, as I do. I mean, they were just there's a weird grossness to what's happening over there. Like, yeah. just blood like, is... Pulled yeah, those like tiny holes that uh, were leaking blackness are now like tiny bits of fire coming out of them too. It's it's beautiful and disgusting all at once. Oh, uh, dwarf, it is yes. now your turn. <laughs> That's the life of Davy Red. Yeah, beautiful and disgusting. <laughs> dwarf, you are up. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna roll to hit uh, this uh, the regular size Durgar with my uh, land shark again. Okay, his name's regular size Fred. Regular Fred. <laughs> Old reg Fred. He always tries to learn and just never works for him. Oh, I should have named him re regular Rudy. Oh well, whatever. I was about to say the all the Durgar laugh. <laughs> uh, regular size Rudy. Bob's Bob's Burgers. Twenty three to hit. That's gonna hit. Who are you attacking? This guy. The one closest to regular size Rudy. Come on, I can't. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Eleven. Sorry. Again. Sorry. Eleven. 
Uh, your land shark shreds this dude, and it starts whipping its head back and forth. And uh, you get uh, there's very clear indication that this guy is uh, chew toyed to death. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now I need to cast a spell too. I'm not sure which one it should be. I think. Damn, I wish this cave didn't have a roof. All right. Um, <laughs> I guess I guess have the have the mind witness and uh, the engorged Durgar uh, make a constitution save against all yeah, the, kinds of damage. Durgar a third rolled, level shatter. Durgar rolled uh, sixteen. The uh, mind witness rolled nineteen. Well, fuck. They both take uh, half of four d eight. Uh, well, actually, uh, 32 to 16. So they all take they take 16 thunder damage. God damn. Uh, okay, so the Durgar uh, blows to bits. And all the yes. enlarged pieces suddenly um, they continue to enlarge and then they suddenly shrink down to regular size and it's just this weird... Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, kind of, kind of poetic painting of just gore where he was standing <laughs> as, as like the bits explode outward and then contract inward and then shrink down to size at the same time. Uh, the mind witness, um, takes like a champ. <laughs> You see him blink slowly. Uh, the the tentacles are whipped back for one moment, a la uh, nuclear explosion, and uh, suddenly face forward once more, specifically facing towards you. Um, 1d6. That's one. Again, you're going to make a charisma saving throw, which is probably good for you. Yeah, I'm actually uh, proficient in those. And, uh, pretty charming, so. Right, here we go. Seventeen. That saves. Uh, the second ray towards you is going to be the stunning ray. You're going to make a constitution saving throw. And then the third Beautiful. one towards you is another aversion ray. Another charisma saving throw. All towards Thor, another one towards me. All towards Thor. All Holy Thorf shit. all day, Check all day. Oh, Thanks. that's a nine. Alright. You are going to have disadvantage on attack rolls for one minute. Not the worst. Yeah, okay. You can handle that. Um, we'll just do that. No, no, no. We'll do that little target there. All right. It is now that Durgar's... Sam, you're up. Oh, boy. So this is very important before I take my turn. Yes. Is there enough room here for me to squeeze past him? Or is he so large that there's no escape past him? Um, He... Uh, you could squeeze past him. You're going to take an attack, but yeah, you could do it. All right, well, first, I hate to spend my second level spell slot like this, but I'm going to flavor it as my armor starts to vibrate before I start moving a lot faster, and I create three speed mirages by casting Mirror Image. Okay. Um, I'll then proceed to attempt to super speed past him. So one, two, three. Uh, yeah, he gets an attack of opportunity. 
Uh, wait, does he rely on... If he relies, if he can see through illusions or has blind sight, he's not fooled by my mirror image. Uh, so say uh, say that one more time. I'm sorry. If he has blind sight, true sight, uh, he sees the real me, and mirror image does nothing here. Okay, let me check that because I am not sure about that situation. Uh, the creature does not have any of those. So you need to roll a 1d20. Uh, to determine what if he's hitting the real me or mirage. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 18. It's a mirage he's rolling to hit. All right. He strikes with his claws. Uh, the AC mirage is 13. The, okay. Uh, he strikes with the mirage and... Uh, it is going to be a 23 to hit. Ooh, that would have oh, been yeah. nasty. It would have been nasty. Uh, your mirage suddenly yeah. dissipates. Two yeah, two mirages left, but at least it wasn't me. And it looks toward you with hate in its eyes. Where are Four, you? Where are you moving to? Six, seven. Uh, away from that thing. That's my turn. Right. But not towards us. I don't want to be near the mine. Wood. Sorry. Okay. I, I, you know what? Fair. All right. Uh, the Duergar over here are going to move over to this direction, and uh, they kind of pile in and they get ready. They're going to roll a one d twenty to try and jump. Now there's going to be a DC fourteen dexterity saving throw uh, for. Uh, challenge essentially for them to be able to get across this newly created uh crater where uh a shatter was done if they fail they fall and they're going to take damage so i cannot make that jump myself you're gonna have to toss me uh the first one falls he goes <laughs> and he's gonna take uh 2d6 damage um falling into the water uh the Hit of that's only six damage, but he takes six damage. Yes, uh, and then the second one is gonna try. He's a, <laughs> I can make it. Uh, he rolls a 13, he also falls in the exact same <laughs> manner as, as the uh, previous uh, unfortunate into the pit. Uh, if I can click on him, ah, poof. Uh, he's gonna take 2d6 as well. Seven damage. Beautiful. The this third is... piggy lines up. And he thinks he can do it. He's like, I got this. He runs full speed. He does worse. <laughs> <laughs> because he does worse and because I'm fucking enjoying this, he's going to take 3d6 of damage, landing on top of the others, taking a total of nine damage as he tumbles to the bottom and looks like a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, they're down there. Yakety sax, yakety sax plays. Hilarity ensues. It's great. Yeah, they're just that's, that was that was pretty good. I, I did enjoy that. Okay, uh... <laughs> red, red, and the uh, Durgar right here stop our fight to look at this. She's like, the fuck? these fucking idiots. <laughs> uh... They go back to fighting. Yeah, uh, comedy hour is over. However. As an Infernus down here looks to you all, lines up a... He's got a pretty good angle here, and he's going to cast a 30-foot cone of fire, exhaling. Is it going to get the bad guys, too? Yep. Well, it's it's not going to get the Mind Witness, but it is going to get this guy. Damn it. Uh, everyone needs to make a dexterity saving throw. And that guy failed. Uh, the dexterity saving throw is going to be a DC 14. 15, yes. 15, you're going to take half damage. And this Two. is fire damage. You're going to take full damage. Fire. That's fine. The total you have resistance to the damage type. Hey, I'm I'm not making this up. 
It is 8d6. Fire damage. Yes, sir. Uh, Hit points are burning a hole in my heart. I'm not tripping. I'm just saying. So, oh my god. Uh, I rolled 3d8 twice to get 68. I don't... That should work out, because I don't have a 68 thing. Uh, total is going to be 28 damage. Half Wait, what if did you, you saved. What did you do? I rolled 3d8 twice to get 68. Instead of 8d6? Is it 8d6 or 68? I don't know. You would. You told. Oh shit! You told me. I'm sorry. I got that backwards. I rolled sixty-eight. It's eight d six. Let me let me do that. Sorry. Just, yeah, just good call. Good good catch. Eight d six. Roll. Twenty-two damage. Good call. Ugh. Good catch. Oh god damn it! <laughs> uh, so everyone in this area takes twenty-two damage. The Duergar Mind Master is instantly just fried. He goes, ah! and his bones are just exposed as he falls to the ground. Uh, a charred heap. Taking full 22 damage. Uh, those who saved will take half damage. 11. Shit. Alright. The other furnace, in furnace runs to his favorite buddy who's trying to run away. Where, where are you running? Where are you running, Sam? Uh, he's going to run over here, follow you, um, and he's going to try and take a swipe with his claws. Let's see. I have two mirages. One moment. Yep. It's an eight fire. Okay. Okay, go ahead and roll. All right, he's attacking another Mirage. Okay, and what is the AC of the Mirage? 13. 13, so it, it rolled a 15 to attack, so it's going to swipe at it. Shh. Try and hit it. Um, it One missed, last Mirage. Yeah, it, 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 it misses you and, and hits the Mirage, but the Mirage dissipates. Um, and that will be its turn. Mm. So the Mind Master is dead. Uh... Davy, you are now standing in front of the Mind Witness and the Infernus. It is going to be your call. Which of these is going to be the more important? The Duergar are on their way. Uh, Yakety sacks, so though they were falling down the pit, they will come, attempt to run to the rescue of the Mind Witness. However, the Mind Witness may not be the most dangerous thing. Mind Witness or this thing? Is Dwarf still... Is Storf still... No, he wasn't stunned. He had disadvantage. He can still attack, right? Yeah, he just... He uh, attacks with disadvantage, yeah. But he'll s okay. save at the beginning of his turn. Let me check that. Okay. Oh, uh, the saving throw for that is at the end of each turn. So, at the end of his turn, he'll be able to save. Okay. Stun is out. Uh, okay. Uh, and I am going to use a bonus action, pour some poison on my blades, and I run up to the Mind Witness. The eye of the Mind Witness grows. Hmm. That's a fun target. 18 to hit. Uh, you strike it. Uh, he needs to make a con save, DC 14. This thing has been rolling great all night, but at this one, it just didn't make <laughs> it. You hit a weak Beautiful. spot. Beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to add some squishy body. to that. Uh, I'm going to add some poison damage to that then. 10. Uh... And so, uh, twelve damage to him. Okay. Uh, and he is poisoned for a minute. <sighs> poison, 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 poison. 
There we yep. go. And um, uh, second attack will hold on. Sorry, sorry. One second. I gotta remember all the weird shit I can do. I'm trying to. Uh, no, fuck it. I think, uh, oh no, some of these just happen. I don't need to, yeah, okay, uh, second attack, ah, it dropped, second attack, doesn't matter, because I don't think that actually hits, uh, six, uh, eleven. Okay. Misses? Uh, yeah, that misses. Okay. Uh, move. On, on. Its tentacles whip mm. around and, and just knock your arm oh. out of the way as you try to attack it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm moving, like, around him as I'm attacking, trying to get, like, right. Yeah, I'll get right here. And that's it. Okay, the eyes are following you. Uh, Thor, if you're up. My God. All right, I don't even... What is... What is happening? Is that a car alarm? Um, <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> stranded out this gas station. Punk-ass co-workers. I think asleep in the bathroom. I'm really starting to get pissed off. Alright. <sighs> Sorry you had to be there. Yeah. Um, damn, I don't know what I should... I guess send the, I'll send my spiritual weapon after this uh, devil talk, dude. Yes. Yes, lava salamander versus baby shark. <laughs> this, is, this is the best. I love this game. 21 to hit. That hits. Five damage. Okay. And then, uh, I think something that's not attack. I guess Buffett guide my bolt as I uh, keep guiding bolt uh, on the uh, mind witness. Okay. You're going to roll with disadvantage. Yes, that's 2 plus 7, 9. 9 to hit? Yeah. Okay, that's going to miss. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, the mind witness what, is... Can, can he roll to get rid of that? Yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead and roll oh, awesome. uh, your constitution... No, I'm sorry. What was it? Was it constitution charisma. or... Charisma. It was charisma I failed on. Yes. It was a version. Yes, 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 yes. You're trying to Seven. hit 13. You're trying to get above a 13. Okay. It's still it's oh, still a uh, disadvantage. It is now the Mind Witness's turn. It is going to turn a eye ray on you, Red. That is the stunning ray. You're going to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Yes. 18 plus 3. Okay. 21. Very, uh, very good. You're saved. The next one it's going to cast on the uh, Infernus. Holy shit. That's going to be an inversion Ooh. ray. It's going to make a saving throw. Constitution. Uh, that creature... Let me check and see if it has any resistances to this. Okay, weird. Okay. Um, okay, nope, 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 nope. That, that would have been a weird thing. Uh, but it is going to be affected by the same aversion that you are. Thorf. The third ray is going to go to you, Thorf. 
and this time it is the fear ray. You're going to have to make a wisdom oh, wow. saving throw. Yeah, you can fuck right off on that one. That's my specialty. Wisdom. Plus. Let's see it. Where's my Nox save? lives. Uh, yep. Hell yeah. This does live. Oh, Deep yeah. inside my heart. Still, 17. <sighs> yes! It points a fear ray at you and it is saying, Be afraid! And you're like, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> the I'm mind witness looks very here. confused. It looks upset. Uh, Sam, you're up. You've got oh. one. Uh, you've got one mirror image left, and the creature is coming, uh, running after you. Yeah, um, I'm going. To take an, I'm gonna get another attack of opportunity on me as I uh, really am trying to create some distance here. So okay. I'm maybe placing my last mirror image here. All right. All right. It's the mirror image that's being hit as I uh, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. What's the mirror image's uh, AC? Thirteen. It okay. missed. It missed. It bites. It got a seven and a nine. It rolled really bad. Uh, it rolled a two and a four. Um, so it goes, rah, rah, bah, and it just, you've still got your mirror image. So your mirror image is okay. Uh, All right. And that For was, my action? That was your movement? Are that you movement. dashing? Nope. Okay. I am going to uh, cast the cantrip Thorn Whip in use a favored foe on it to get it that extra d4 of damage okay let's see where is it on my list ah there it is all right uh let me roll to hit uh, wait why am i doing it in the discord i can just do it in D, &D beyond does 20 hit not that definitely does you can create all right 2d6 plus 1d4 uh, oh, I typed that wrong. One moment. Mm. I'd pit 2D instead of 2D6. Mm. There we go. 13 damage, and it's dragged 10 feet closer to me, but because there's a massive abyss between me and the creature, I'm hoping to sneak in a little extra fall damage by dragging it off the bridge. Yeah, he'll take, he'll he'll take 2D6, uh, which turns out to be 4, so it takes an additional 4 damage. Yeah. Man, this harpoon gun is coming in real useful in this dungeon. Was that, was that 10 feet movement? Yep, it gets pulled 10 feet closer to me. Okay. So it's now down here. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. is now the Three Stooges, Durgar's turn, who are down in this pit. They're going to uh, attempt to uh, climb yeah. out. It's a seven. The first one uh, makes its way up and then slides back down. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, the second one. Uh, <laughs> he climbs up and he, and he like, <laughs> and then he gets to the very top and then he, uh, he slips and falls. Shh, slides back down. The third one. Uh, declares himself the winner as he climbs up and manages to uh, finally make it to the top. <laughs> and uh, he's got 15 movement. No, 20, 25. He's got half movement. 25. I'm just going to say he can move 10. Uh, he he pulls himself forward. <sighs> and, he, and he says, My flare! I've made it! I've made it! And and then uh, the Infernus here is going to uh, not attack him, but man, I wanted to kill him so bad for actually making it out, but I can't. Uh, the the Infernus here is going to come over here, and it is going to swipe at uh, Thwarf. Oh shit, he's got reach. Uh, here's my question. Is 
does the spiritual weapon take up space? Right? Like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, he's he's gonna move. Past, go ahead and make a an attack of opportunity on him. Uh, he's gonna move past the spiritual weapon and, and move over here. He's gonna get uh, cozy. Uh, so go ahead and go ahead and make an attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. With uh, with your uh, uh, spiritual weapon. Well, I don't think I don't think this, the spiritual the spiritual weapon doesn't get to the top of Jimmy's. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have reaction. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he's gonna make. It's him. just. It's just. Think of it. Think of it just as a way for me to just do some damage every turn. It's not, sure. It okay. Uh, too much. He's gonna make a bite attack at you, and then a claw attack. So the bite attack is gonna miss. It's gonna be eleven to hit. Um, you you definitely managed to jump back, but the claw swings around and hits you with the twenty three to hit. It's gonna be two d six plus two, and I need you to make a Constitution saving throw against poison. So if you have something resisting that or advantage, let me know. But two d six. Oh, I do. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna take uh, you're gonna take nine damage, and then you're gonna make a Constitution saving throw. All right, that's twenty one. Uh, that saves. So you're gonna take half. Uh, what's the damage? Uh. 4d6. 8. Really shitty roll. 8 what? 8 damage. Poison. I half that because I'm a dwarf. Okay, so you're going to half that and you pass that, right? So you're going to take half and then half, right? So take yes. 2 damage. So take a total of 11 damage. Total. That'll work. Have that guy make a dexterity save. Uh oh. Uh, hmm. he makes a dexterity save. Uh, no, and he fails. He rolled a two. What happens? He takes, um, I think he takes eight damage. Eight, eight lightning damage. Okay. Uh, and I also push him back ten feet. Because of a uh, thing that he has, uh, if the Infernus is subjected to an effect that allows it to make a dexterity saving throw, it will only take half damage. So he's going to take uh, four damage. Okay. But yeah, he'll be pushed back 10 feet, you said? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you get an attack of opportunity? Uh, not if somebody pushes him against his will. Alright. I really want you to hit this guy. Uh, okay. Now it is the other Infernus' turn up here towards uh, you, Sam. Uh, it's going to make a dexterity. It's a uh, DC 10 to climb up, and it rolled a 10. So it's going to try and climb back up, uh, and it gets back up, and it's going to move over here. Uh, let me make sure that was the right amount of movement. Uh, and it moves a total of 30 feet. Um, yes, okay. And at 30 feet, it is going to uh, you see that it is getting ready to, uh, blow, fuck it, it's just gonna do it. It's gonna blow fire breath. Yeah, I'm gonna react to that with a Zorb element, so even if I fail this save, I am pulling a lot of the fire towards my, uh, 
short sword, short sword on my wait no I don't have a short sword anymore do I oh no I had two of them and I've only given one of them to the cobalt okay uh, yeah either way, yes I'm casting a zorb elements okay uh so tell me what that does exactly I um if I if something causes a saving throw that does acid cold fire lightning or thunder damage. I can half its damage, and until the end of my next turn, add a d6 of damage to my um, weapon. You didn't um, mention fire. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Hold on, let me go over the list again. You said fire. Fire, lightning, or thunder. Okay, okay sorry, I didn't catch it. Okay, um, so 27 damage. Well, let me do the deck saving throw. Plus 25 on the deck save. Okay, so that's going to be 13 damage. And then you're going to take half of that? Yep, so, so take, six damage? Yeah. Or seven. So you're going to take six fire damage. That is very... 27 six damage. That is very good. So, Absorb element is a good spell. It gets ready, it goes... Right at the last second, you manage to see a, a, a corner, and you duck behind a corner, uh, plus you cast your Absorb element, taking a lot of the fire into your... Uh, pulling it into your sword um, uh, managing to basically avoid almost all any you get a little singe but you're you, you come out all right and that's gonna be uh, its turn uh Davy you're up okay Davy is going to uh well, stay in front of the mind flare, and he's going to. Sorry, the uh, the, the mind, what the the the, the, the bitch, and he's going to attack it. Mm-hmm. Sure, 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 sure. The spear, and I'm going to use. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'll use uh one of my blood curses, the blood curse of the marked. That's 15 plus to give myself some extra damage. It's 15 plus uh, uh, 20 to hit. Okay, that hits. Give me some extra damage. Uh, yeah, I got it. Oh, God damn it. Dropped it. She keeps falling off my desk. Six. 13. 15 damage. You strike this thing, and your spear punctures straight through the center of this thing's eye, just skewering the creature as it f- it suddenly releases a psychic wail. Uh, you see the Dorgar uh, standing, grab their heads as a scream, a psychic scream, expels from this creature upon its death. Yeah. And it's it slowly slips off the edge of your uh, spear like a wet squid. Okay, and I just go like, oh, oh, all right, good, good. That's you better die. And then I move up to this guy, and uh, second attack. He goes, oh man. As- yeah, yeah, that sucks, right? Uh, ooh, eight to hit. Uh, he he, he f- Mr. Bonus. Bagoo's out of your uh attacks. Bonus action, third attack. <laughs> <laughs> All that attack. A uh, bonus action, blood curse. Huh. Oh, the blood curse is not specifically not an action. It just I can just choose to do that during an attack. I thought it depended on the blood curse. Uh, none of the ones I have, or and it's been the blood hunter's been updated. Uh, but no, no action. Okay. Uh, action, action, fish, other. Yeah, it's all under other blood mal. It's a blood maledict. There's no. Yeah, oh. no action. Okay, I was thinking of the curses specifically. No Sorry, the curse is the thing that I stab and I do more damage, and I do more damage. This is something different. 
Okay. The curses, the curses are something different. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm going attack. 19 plus shit. That, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is my dag. Yeah, I miss. I miss, and then I come up and stab. And uh, as he's celebrating, stab him again. Three. All right, six. Eight. Ten damage. Okay. Uh, he's still standing. Yeah. Uh, he, he gives you a stink eye a little bit. Thorf, you are up. Hey, what should I do? Uh, go after the Infernus, I think. Uh, I'll use the rest of my. Uh, can I get? Can I use some of my movement to get there? Yeah, too? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's, it. Go ahead. That's cool. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go after that guy. I I did not catch that at all. Bonus action. Look, okay, bonus action. Uh, send the spiritual weapon to the infernus and attack him. Okay. Better way. Better uh, go way. ahead. Bonus. Shot caller, 28 plays on the Impala. Rather than day to night, push roll, get late at the highway. Get money to fly away. It's gotta be a better way. Better way. Yeah, we were jamming, dude. Uh, yeah, that misses. Okay. Uh, got. Uh... And then I guess I'm just going to lose all of my spell slots in this small area and try to hit that guy with a guiding bolt. All right. Go for it. It'd be rude not to. Uh, Hell no. I think everybody's still affected by the... Well, the mind witness died. I don't want to keep track of all the ray shit, so uh, you're, you're no longer affected by aversion. That may not be how to actually play, but... Yeah, I mean, I rolled a three and a two, so... Alright. It's it's not affected by uh, your uh, guiding bolt. You miss. Uh, Sam, you are up. Alright. Um, I'm in the middle of combat, so like I'm going to glance at that, but I don't think I'm going to stop to think about it for too long. Mm -hmm. I said some stuff about it earlier that uh, is not correct uh but i'll i'll after a combat you can investigate it a little bit more three four five six uh no no no, no. i'm gonna I, I hate how it snaps like that let's see i was here originally right mm -hmm. two Okay, I have 35 movements, so I have one more square. That's good. All right. How far away is the Infernus right now? I think it's more than 30 feet away from me, correct? Mm. Ruler, man. Yeah. I don't know how to use it. It's 35. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's also not visible to you currently. I know. All right. Uh. There's a, you, you know where I'm trying to place, Sam, right? The still on the bridge. I'm not trying to deliberately fall off. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. All right, I'm gonna ready an action, okay. and as soon as the Invernus is within line of sight around here, mm -hmm. I would like to cast Thorn Whip and drag him off the bridge again. Okay. All right. All right. Um, that's uh, it, it it's is okay. You 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 prepare. Uh, hold on, on save for that real quick. I mean, I can just redo it if need be. But okay, I don't have favored fall on him, but I'll activate it at no action anyway. So okay, continue. Uh, okay, uh, all right. Uh, it is this Dorgar's turn? He is going to uh stab at 
Mr. Red with a war pick. Uh, Bitch, you can try. Yeah, 23 to hit. Uh, well, you're forgetting that not a hit. <laughs> Whack. Uh, let's see what that is. It's going to be 1d8 plus 2. So not, not end of the world. No. Take 5 damage. Okay. And he looks proud. He's he's He thinks he just won the lottery. Uh, this guy is going to... Try and roll. He's got to wait. Oh. Hey, he makes it up. He goes, ha. And he's going to come up to you. And he's going to attack you. With uh, mm -hmm. uh, another war pick. Uh, and that is a 10 to hit. Miss. That one swings wide. That's okay. He's still, he's still real proud of himself for getting out of the pit. Uh, his third buddy tries to climb up out of the pit and he slides back down. <laughs> he failed the roll. So he's he's squealing at the bottom, uh, saying, wait for me, guys, wait for me. Um, his old I, just have both my I just have both my weapons out pointing at them. Just <laughs> This has been a fun day. <laughs> to top it all off, the skewer you kids. Uh, the Infernus sneaks up around uh, here. Uh, stepping over the bodies. I'm just going to put them on front. And he is going to take a swipe at Thwarf uh, with a first a bite and then a claw attack. Uh, both are going to miss. It's an 11 and a nine, uh, 10 to hit. So he goes... <laughs> um, he just is swinging wild. He's just, he's just so consumed with anger and and rage that he's making sloppy attacks the other furnace in furnace up here is going to make its way down here and i know what it's waiting for it so go ahead and do it um, all right it's gonna try does a 22 hit a 22 definitely does hit all right so it got hit when it exposed itself i'm gonna spend a favored bow. Let me go ahead and find that on the thing real quick. There we go. All right. 2d6 plus uh, 1d4. All right, 11 damage from me, plus whatever being dragged 10 feet towards me does when there's a chasm between us again. Okay. Um, you pull it towards you. Again, uh, it falls off of it. You basically launch this harpoon... <laughs> And uh, it wraps its feet up, uh, hog tying it and pulling it towards you ten feet, sliding it off of the the embankment. It's going to take two d six damage, falling down into the pit because it doesn't fucking learn. Uh, that's ten damage. <laughs> and then what was your what was your initial damage? Eleven. All right. Uh, and with that, once it hits the bottom of the gorge of this uh, little pit, it. Uh, it remains tied and unmoving. Awesome. I nice. still want one of those things. Awesome. All right. Uh, Davey, it is now your turn. Good shit, Sam. Good shit. You've been doing some, you've been doing some good uh, uh, been... artificery shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's some Batman shit. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm going to bonus action smear a uh, break a vial of poison on my weapon. So yeah, <laughs> it's a poison for you, for you too. And I stab. Uh, I'll stab at this guy. All right. Roll to stab. <laughs> Eighteen. Thank you, my golden. Eighteen. Twenty. Eighteen plus a bunch of shit. You get a. Uh, you get a yeah. good stab. Okay. Six. Uh, he needs to make a con saving throw for poison. DC 14. Okay. They do have a resilience. So. No, they do not. What's not against the... my poison. Not against my poison. 
Okay, the f well, he rolled a seven. In that case, he failed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you're po you have a, what's your feat that potent. allows you? My, I have the poisoner's feat, which gives me potent poison. So any poison that I make, you don't get resistance to this. That's fantastic. I specific like, bef I was making this during like the long rest. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be fighting Duragar. I'm just add some extra shit like blood from the Duragar that we, that I that we uh, had fought before went into, uh, the poisoner's situation. The little poison kit as I was making the poison and making stuff specifically to kill these fuckers. Yeah, that's great. Oh, damn, all this stuff keeps falling. Okay. Uh, 15 damage to him. Uh, he does uh, not make right it. Here. Yeah, as he's probably, I, as I say, like, I got poison. I have some poison for you. He's like, oh, yeah, we have, this is a poison. And I just stab him and stare at the other one as he goes down. It's like, all right, you're next. He slowly <laughs> slides off and just dies on the floor. Yeah, and now I'm going to stare at that one. I'll, I'll attack again, second attack. Yeah, you, you, you T-pose, establish dominance. 24. That hits. <laughs> Two. I feel kind of bad for them. Six. Six. Uh, no poison on this one. This is just uh, six. Twelve damage. Okay. He's still standing. Uh, I did a bonus action to smear the poison on, so that's uh, I can't do my third offhand attack. Okay. That's it. Uh, he he spits blood at you and goes, "I'm ready to die." Uh, <laughs> mm. good. Right. Good. Then we're then we're in agreement. Uh, <laughs> Thorf, it is now your turn. All right. Bonus action: attack the bonus, uh, and then have him make a dexterity save as well for a second. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. What's the attack roll, and uh, what's the dexterity save? Twenty-five. Dexterity save. You need to be a fifteen. Okay. Uh, that hits, and he failed. Takes nine rage. He takes what? Total of 16 radiant damage. Okay, is this a physical attack? Uh, melee? Sorry, melee attack? Uh, melee attack from the, uh, from the spiritual weapon. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need... You are going to take... Uh, he... How much damage does he take? I'm sorry. Let's see if he... I think it's 16. I think 16 total damage. 16. Both, both okay. Things. You slam this creature, uh, and it burst with uh, blood that, like, uh, alien blood that the acidic damage is going to hit. Everything within five squares of it is going to take 3d6 damage. Um, I'm going to include... Uh, that's acid damage. So take nine damage of acid damage and red U2. Uh, how much? Nine? Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to not do that. I'm going to use my reaction to absorb all of it with my awesome snake tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck I saw yeah. that coming. I saw that coming. All right. It uh it remains standing, but um you can see it's bloodied. Uh Sam, it is now your turn. Alright. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Do I have a clear um shot at it from behind the pillar? Yeah. Like if I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, poke like poke and shoot is uh corner shooting essentially. 
All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and try to zap it with my ele electrical blast. Uh, eight will miss, but thankfully it's a weapon and I have extra attack. Oh, I did not press the right one for that one. Does 16 hit? Uh, well, I mean, I hit is the that a... It's an attack, right? Attack roll, yes. Okay, it's not a dexterity saving throw. No, no, no. Lightning launch is just a straight up weapon. Uh, throwing whips that can't trip. So this is just attack. Okay. All right. Uh, no, that hits. All right. Uh, one moment. Or slash uh, 2d6 plus 3. All right, because it's the first attack of the lightning launcher to land, I add an additional d6 for seven lightning damage. That'll be my turn. Seven damage? Yep, lightning. Okay. All right, it's still standing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Still standing, but you get the sense that it is literally on it. Of the four legs it has, it has got one leg left. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, this door guard next to you, Red, is going to attack you with a uh, war pick, swinging wildly, chanting uh, chanting war songs of its dead brother. That's a 22 to hit. Yeah. That's going to be a 1. That hits. 8 plus 2. So take 4 damage. So okay. it's screaming just bloody murder, angry about the death of its brother standing next to it. Uh, and it lightly taps you with a war pick. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, again, he's very proud that he's hitting, but he, he's unaware of how effective he might be. <gasps> the last little Duergar makes it up and finally joins the fight. Uh... Swinging with a wildly with a war pick, thirteen hit. No. Okay, swinging wildly and uh, completely whiffing with that uh, thirteen. Lastly, the Infernus. Uh, makes a lunging. It's gonna move over here, and it's gonna make a final lunging attack at uh, Sam. One, one moment. Because it missed the barrage earlier, remember? Okay, okay. It's hitting, it's hitting the last of uh, the mir uh, speed mirages from your image. Okay. Alright. Uh, with that, your last mirage dissipates. Uh, the, the initial bite was only seven to hit. So that one uh, missed the mirage. Go ahead and roll again for the second attack to see if it's going to hit your mirage again. Great. Nope, that, the second attack's hitting me. Okay, this one is a 22 to hit. If it hit that your hit. mirage, it would have it would have been great. So that's going to be 2d6 oh. plus 2. It... Its first bite misses the mirage, and it kind of gets the idea that maybe it's just going to... It wildly swings with a claw, and it hits you 2d6 plus 2. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. That's only 5 damage, but make that saving throw. Uh, hold on, let me... Uh, 5 damage total, or 5 damage plus whatever the saving throw gets me. A 13 on the saving throw. Okay, that's not... That does not quite make it. So, in addition to the five damage, the five damage is the slashing damage. The poison is going to be four d six. All right. Half as much on a save throw. You're going to take thirteen damage with that. So I'm five down. and thirteen. My mirage dissipates as I am down and doing death saving throws. Okay. Fuck. Davies. Davy Reds. You are up. You know, Behind you. Behind you, you hear the 
bestial roar of this creature as it makes a lunging throat uh, attack at uh, Sam, taking him down in its death throes, essentially. Uh, okay. In front of you, you have two Durgar swinging with you, at you with pickaxes in each hand. Okay. I'm going to continue attacking this. This uh, this one is the one I've been fighting. This one just yes. this one just popped up. Okay. Yes. I'm going to continue an attack, spear attack on that one. I'm going to... Does it look... Does this guy look pretty hurt? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 15, 15. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Four. Nine. 11 damage to him. He goes down. Yeah, I'll stab him. I'll stab him. Kick it. Like, kick him off my spear back into the pit. It's like, do you want, and I'll turn to the other one, like, do you want to be next? I mean, before I waste my second attack, because I am very badly hurt, I want, can I do like an intimidation check? It's like, Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll intimidation. It? Yeah. I will use my frightful presence and give myself advantage on this intimidation check. 18 plus Wow, my intimidation is negative one. Seventeen. Intimidation. <laughs> uh, negative one. How do you have a negative one? Uh, it's charisma. My charisma is. It's the shit. first half of men max. Yeah, I'm very super I'm very. I'm very uncharismatic. Uh, because I'm you know I'm not charismatic because I'm fucking covered in blood and disgusting and shit all the time all right i was gonna i rolled to contest it he rolled a 16 so he goes <laughs> you want to be you want to be next he goes he just throws down his weapons and just throws his arms in the air and runs in reverse the second he uh, gets out of line of sight of me i'm just oh thank god uh god, he, so he uh <laughs> Yeah, he he successfully he does this graceful leap over the the fallen shatter like like a ballet like a ballerina, uh, and and pirouettes at the at the when he lands he just pops on his tippy toes and then he keeps running. Ah! Oh, thank um, God. Okay. All right. Time for the next one. Uh, dwarf. Uh, I'm just. I still. Oh, I'll say that was my second attack, but I'm scaring him. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Thorf, this creature next to you is uh, coughing blood to the ground and is is just barely breathing. It's got one health. You just got to hit it. I know what I must do. Uh, I'm just going to hit it. Cool. Spiritual weapon. Twenty one to hit. That's okay. one D eight plus like one. But uh that'll kill him because he's got one hit point. Okay. He explodes. Acidic blood sprays everywhere. <laughs> and he falls to the ground dead. Uh, so Sam is going to take an automatic acid damage. Uh, he's going to take an automatic fill roll. Um, you were going to get 3d6 acid damage, I think, unless you absorb it. Acid? No, I can't absorb the acid anymore. Uh, oh. Do I get a save? Uh, it is not a save. Uh, a it creature happens. that it hits. Happens. Yeah, uh, a creature that hits the infernus with a melee attack while within three feet, uh, five feet of it takes three d six acid damage. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, that crystal minotaur you guys fought at one time. Uh, yeah, no problem. So, but I, I have resistance, so I have uh, to take half three d six. 
All right, five damage. I right, took five. You know, I actually gained some health back when I did my absorbing thing last time. Oh, really? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty. That is cool. Uh, the bonus action healing word, Sam. Get up. One d four. That's great. All right. That's that's fantastic. How much uh, HP do I get? Six. Max. Oh, uh, plus, plus, plus. Once a day. I can add 1d10 to that. Sam kind of groans in agony as he, like, slowly, like, feels the stone floor he's, like, collapsed on. Total 11 hit points back. Okay. Oh, 11. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, all right. Uh, I, I almost have the HP I started with before I uh, started assisting you guys. All right. I uh, Red immediately starts investigating the room, this work area, the mind flare. Yeah. The, the, uh, uh, the, the, I, the, I won't even make a roll for it. It's on the map. You see a, a, a small chest. Um, it. Uh, oh, Appears to have been uh, placed there by the uh, Durgar previously. Uh, Sam, traps. Check, check it. Yeah. God, I need, I need to sit down for a second. Fuck. <laughs> you, you, you know what? Yeah, that, that sounds good. I'm going to take a swig of water before I start looking for traps. All right. Pull out my thieves' tools. Let me go ahead and make a roll. Actually, why am I doing it through there? Let me. I mean, uh, are, are you investigating? Are you? Do you see the trap? Do you see what's happening yet? Do you know you... that one's there? Oh, I, I just made the assumption that he spotted one. So, like, I'm gonna. Oh, no, I did. I didn't. I just thought. Uh, Red just thought maybe maybe this thing might be trapped. Uh, Sam, well, come over and check, and check and see if it's trapped. Sam starts to, like, go over there as if, like, you already were sure there's a trap. Then he goes, like, wait, no, oh, that's what you mean. And I will investigate to see if there is a trap. All right, roll investigation. 22, not 20. Okay, you see some runes on this. Ooh. Is there a way to scratch off and or corrupt the runes without triggering the spell? Uh, it's, it's... I cast the spell magic. Oh, that that's easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are the just so I know are the meant essentially? Rob, you back? Yeah, yeah, I'm back. I I totally fucked up my schedule. Uh, telling oh. people I'd see them tomorrow with Ellie, and I forgot tomorrow's when Grandma picks up Ellie from school, and I won't be there. So I don't know. Uh. Whatever. I'll just go there in person. Uh, anyways. What was... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. What? Yeah, what's we're open in up. the chest? Oh, yeah. what's in the what's in the box? Uh, yeah, who opened it? Me. Uh, after uh, after Thorf dispelled magic to, to get rid of the runes. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah. It uh, no longer has glowing runes on it. The runes turn into kind of a... F uh, they just fade away. Uh, you look inside and you see that there is a, uh, wolf's tooth on a chain. It's just, that's the only thing in this box. What is it? There's a wolf tooth that's on a silver chain. Oh, Does it look crap. magical? Uh, it certainly feels magical. Um, it's a simple cord necklace. Uh, it looks to be a, a large wolf tooth. Okay. I'll pass it around to the party to see if anyone recognizes it. I'll make. I'll go ahead and like roll whatever skill check you. Uh, I need to do to see if I know, but you know, the more people who make the check, the more likely it is. All right. What, well, what's, what's what are you checking for? I want to see if I can identify it, but I don't have the identify spell, so may I oh. make an arcana check to see if I know what 
kind of things going on with this necklace? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. All right. I rolled a seven, so I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, you don't, you're not sure. Uh, do I think this thing has any, what's, sorry, I, Blood Hunters, I get a thing, but I get advantage on knowing stuff about Fey themes or undead. Do I think this is anything connected to those? You roll with advantage. Roll Arcana with advantage. Because this would be, you would know some things about this. Awesome. I got a 19 investigation. Okay. Uh... Wow, with advantage, I got a seven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thorf, with your investigation on this, you see that there are... Uh, uh, you see that there are Goliath runes on this. Um, do you speak Goliath? Does anyone... I think I just spoke giant. Deep speech and draconic. Uh... Do... Goliath speak? They don't have uh, five. Eight. Do they speak their own language? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they uh, just speak giant as they are ancestors. Yeah, uh, giant. It's in giant. I'm sorry. You're right. It's in giant. Uh, does anyone speak giant? No. Okay. Nope. Okay. Oh, I'll talk about yeah, Nuval would have solved that. Well, let's. Uh, well, Nuval might be here in a. Well, he's he's here, but he he'll he'll be back in a minute. He'll I be hope. Back. Maybe maybe. Uh, All right. Since it's getting towards the end of, I mean, not the end of. It's not getting towards ten o'clock. I don't know what that means. I'm just tired. <laughs> Spits blood. Uh, oh. Let's. Uh, we. I need to. We need to take a rest. Let's. This thing over here looks interesting. Let's. It does. Let's invest- yeah, let's investigate that and then take a short rest in this area. All right. What you come across seems to be uh, an ancient construct, uh, a uh, humanoid construct. It's been lifted out of the abyss, out of this uh, crevice, uh, excavated out, and it is currently being held in a kind of elevator-like enclosure. Um as if it was in the midst of, of being uh, excavated. Hmm. Very interesting. Is the elevator locked or anything like that? Do I need to, like... I'd like to try to open up the elevator and get to it proper, if possible. Uh, hey, maybe let's not, though, because what if it comes to life and we have to fight? Uh, it is inert. Yeah, uh, it looks like... It, it has no... It has no activation. Power source. Yeah, it's it's a it's an inert object. Uh, I'm um, some cool stuff on him. I poke him with a stick, with my uh, with my spear. Well, let me get him out of the cage first before we start poking him. Okay. No, I, no, I poke, I poke him. I poke him with a spear. Okay, nothing happens. Cool. All right. Is the elevator locked or no? What do you mean locked? Like it can't? Can it go up or down? It's currently up. It's currently up at level with you. All right. You described it as being in a cage-like elevator. I just assume that uh, like, the the, the like cage. Yeah, the door could open and close. It's it's not locked in there. It's just currently standing in there. I'll I'll uh, step into the elevator with it, confirm its level of inertness, and then drag it out of there uh, with us. Okay, it's heavy. Uh, it, it falls out of the elevator and slams on the. You get, you get the sense that like, its heaviness hits the deck and the whole wooden structure. Uh, you can feel it like swaying, accepting this new weight. Oh, that's nerve wracking. All right, may I roll Arcana investigation, whatever check I need to to like get. I would like to take my time and thoroughly diagnose what exactly I'm looking at. Okay. From a uh, uh, roll investigation. All right. Uh, Red Thorf, do you want to help me? I'll try and help. All right. 
Wait, your what's your investigation? Uh, plus two. Mine's plus five. You want to give me help? Yeah, no. I'll, I'll be like, Red, uh, <laughs> you know about Obscure Arcana? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Perhaps uh, you get a look at it. I'll explain what you're seeing mechanically, and you apply your knowledge of magic, all right? What? Sorry. Sorry, what? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I, I hand read. I, like, I investigate. I'll, yeah, I'll use my tools to, like, adjust and, like, look at different parts of it so that red, way Red sees it. That's how I'm helping him. What, what did you all roll? And, uh, I'm rolling it now. 20. Oh, 30, 20. Very good. Uh, you recognize this through your travels to uh, be an ancient construct of Netherese origin. Um, no. Yeah. You, you feel like origin. you are on the trail of... Uh, the, this is a... What basically was used to police the the ground population of an ancient Netherese empire. Uh, All right. it's, it's kind of like a it's it's a machine built for war. All right, Sam built for combat. Uh, it's it's a war forged. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right, Sam. Um, uh, scavenge it for scavenge it for parts if you need if you need to, but let's uh let's take a short rest here. Yeah, um, I'd like to see if there's like a reason it's inert. Like, is its power source corrupted, or like what's going on here? Um, what do I roll? Roll Arcana. A ten. Oof. Uh, right. yeah, you, you feel like there's. If there is an activation, it uh is not on its person. All right, I want to take this with us, but I feel like I need to get this thing back to the workshop at Lonelywood. I think I'll need Curio's help on this one. This is pretty advanced. I mean, let's not carry it with us throughout the thing. That's going to slow us down. Let's just, it's a giant metal guy. Let's just, uh, let's leave it here. If we're alive on the way back, we'll take it with us. Wish I could uh, carry it in my bag of holding, but I think it's too large. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed you ahead. I'm gonna say that we have uh, because we have. T uh, you, you guys can go ahead and take your short rest. However, if you walk this way and look this way, you'll see the final room. Oh, I want to do that. Okay. Uh, Before the short rest or after? Your choice. I just want to look at it. See the final rep. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Taking, uh, looking into the space, um, you see that there is a large, uh, liquid woman standing in uh, with a skeletal structure in the center. Um, there is a strange, uh liquid force field right here that is barring physical entry. Hmm. Maybe. God. God, I wish Nuval were here to help out with this. This seems like something he could help with. And Fade to black. Can we can we pick this up later? <laughs> <laughs> if you wish, we have five minutes. We can. Uh... Uh, we we should get what, into it. With, yeah. Unless you guys want to do something. What I, what do you what do you guys want to do? We saw it. We saw it. I'm not going to walk up into it or try to get in the water or whatever. With let's just take a short rest because the hit points back. I think I that this is this is a good time to put a pause on it. We can get Nuval back, uh, and possibly we gotta say, is our intrepid to you coming back next week? Yeah, she should be back, right? 
the headcanon that Nuvo and the Cobalt somehow save to you from that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, with the death of the Mind Witness, I think that she would be uh, the mind control of the Mind Flayer colony would be uh, interrupted. Its, its Wi-Fi router was essentially destroyed. And uh, she would be returned to her previous state. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Nuval and the Kobold went on the world's most magical, fantastic adventure. And uh, successfully, if she, if she is able to make next uh, session, they found two of you, guys. They did it. Uh, and she will be joining us again. Awesome. And um, okay. as you guys approach, the uh, woman says, uh, the slime woman says, she says one thing. And, and she looks towards you all. And she says, Necklace which gives one relief, ordered by jury or chief, on word of the dictum, set loose the victim, End of the line for the thief. And that's Whoa. where we'll end this session. Awesome. Very interesting. Awesome, awesome cool. fucking session, okay. man. Yeah. Cool. cool. I gotta save my fucking marriage. <laughs> Oh, because of the uh, what? Forgetting the date, forgetting the dates. Yeah, she's so upset about it because I, I was like, I'll just handle this later, and I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally text them. They said, "We'll see you tomorrow," and I said, "Yeah, that sounds great." And Dustin's like, "No, you can't." And I was like, "I'll figure it out later. I'm, I'm busy." <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that, but I basically was like, "Okay, bye, 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 bye." Anyway, uh, sorry. Yeah, text them, text them oh, back. It's it's fine. It's fine. What I'll do is yeah. I'll just text them in the morning. I'll be like, "Hey, there's a slight change of plans, but I'll still meet you." So, um, really, they just want to yeah. talk about their house plans that I've been working on. So, they don't even really care about Ellie that much, which is great. 